And one thing that struck me as I've visited with um, different people around the state is sort of a, a general feeling that water will take care of itself. It's always taken care of itself. And, and we know uh, for a fact that that is not the case. It requires a great deal of investment and planning. And I frequently uh, become disheartened when I realize how little people know about the realities of delivering an adequate supply of clean, affordable water where it needs to go to maintain our economy and public health. But every now and then I see something that makes me really hopeful about the future, something hopeful about our water story. Recently, it was with my eight-year-old son, uh, who I sent off to shower, you know, around bedtime. About 30 seconds after I heard the shower go on, I, I heard it cut off, and I thought, well, there's no way that, that boy is clean. And so uh, I went into the shower to, to check on him and probably scold him for uh, pretending to wash. And I found him in there soaping up. He had washed himself down, cut off the water, and was soaping up, which is a common water conservation tactic. It's not one that I use, and I don't know many people in my generation who do use it. Uh, but he was using it, and he had learned it at school. Uh, and it makes me hopeful and excited about the future. But the reality is we know that conservation alone will not do it, at least not in the short term, and that we have to continue to plan and make smart investments in uh, water supply, um, infrastructure, and uh, conveyance systems.